Canon EOS R6 Mark II Reviews When it comes to the Canon EOS R6 Mark II, many people will be hoping that it marks the end of the line for the company's first attempt at creating a professional cinema camera. For many, the one drawback of its 20MP sensor was its limited usefulness for amateur photographers who wanted something more versatile than their smartphone cameras. With the Canon EOS R6 Mark II camera and its new 24.1MP full-frame CMOS image sensors, you get an improved version of the previous generation of. Compared to the slower 33-megapixel Sony A7 IV camera, one of its closest competitors. The EOS R6 Mark II can shoot at up to 12fps with its mechanical shutters, or at up to 50fps when using its electronic shutters if you're willing to take the risk of rolling shutters. For videographers, Canon has just released an all-new camera that shoots both 4K and 60fps video at up to 5.2K resolution. It also samples the 4K footage from the full width of the sensor, which normally results in better image clarity than when shooting 4K footage cropped from a smaller sensor. On paper, this camera looks really good. However, we had to test it out for a few days to see if it lived up to its specs. The EOS R6 Mark II's main rival, the Sony a7 IV, has a faster burst rate at 5 fps, but it's lower res with an APS-C sensor rather than a full frame and can shoot only 4K 30p video. The Canon EOS Rebel D6-R6 Mark II is practically identical to the original EOS Rebel D6-R5, aside from a few minor changes. It's a good camera for beginners because it feels familiar and has some useful features. First, those changes, replacing the on slash off button is a new switch for switching between stills and video modes. That's an improvement because you can now use the camcorder in the same manner, regardless of whether you're taking pictures or filming movies. The on slash off slash lock switch has been relocated above the rear control wheel. A third change is that the command dial now has auto and scene modes, so it's easier to use for beginners. It also has an updated version of the multi-control, which works better with autofocus functions like eye priority and subject tracing. However, it doesn't have a unique design like the one found on the EOS R7. We're okay with that. Finally, on top of the new EOS R6 Mark III, you'll find a multi-function port, just like the one on the previous version of the EOS R series, which allows the use of the latest Canon speed lights, flashes, and wireless remote triggers without the use of any cables. So overall, Canon has taken the if it ain't broke, don't fix it attitude with the EOS R6 Mark II. It still handles really well with almost any lens and has a tough magnesium alloy body. Its combination of a texture AF joystick, quick menu button, and variable angled screen is also a proven formula that suits most photographers and videographers. It would be nice if Canon had added an improved electronic viewfinder to the EOS R6 Mark III. However, since the company has focused on increasing the camera's resolution and adding new capabilities, we don't expect any changes to the EVF. It may not have a stacked sensor like the Canon EOS Rebel D6-R3, but the EOS R6 has an improved 24.2MP full-frame CMOS sensor. First, there's the fact that the camera shoots at a maximum rate of 40 frames per second when using the electronic shutters of the new EOS R6 Mark II. It's twice the number compared to the previous version, which could shoot up to 20 FPS. While the EOS R6 MK2 can shoot RAW files at up to 10 FPS, the camera also offers a higher frame rate option of 40 FPS, which is great if you're trying to capture fast action. However, the camera only accepts SDXC memory cards, not compact flash cards, meaning that you'll have to rely on the included battery pack to keep things running smoothly. Additionally, the camera's built-in electronic viewfinder has a maximum refresh rate of 60Hz. This means that you won't be able to see everything happening during exposure at full resolution, 